My name is Elise Morgan, and I'm an Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Boston University. One area that we study is how the mechanical competence of our bones declines as we age, and then the other area focuses on how bones heal. In the simplest sense, we need our bones as they're healing to regain their original mechanical function. We need them to be as stiff as they once were, we need them to be as strong as they once were. If they're not, then that healing process has not been fully successful. Distraction osteogenesis is a procedure that's used clinically. It's a procedure that orthopedic surgeons will do. It's a procedure that really harnesses the capacity of bone to regenerate. If you're trying to lengthen a bone, you create a cut entirely through the bone so that you've got the bone now in two halves and every 12 hours you pull that gap apart, you make that gap a little bit longer. Then we image the bone and this is at a, an early enough point where we don't see a lot of new bone forming in the gap, but we definitely see some. What we would see at a later time point is even more bone formation within this gap that's been lengthened and eventually new bone will have entirely bridged this gap. No one really knows why that pulling apart is so powerful in, in producing new bone tissue. But if we knew that, then we could probably apply it to not only make distraction osteogenesis even more successful than it is, but we could also apply it to a whole host of situations where the person needs more bone tissue. Many instances of bone healing involve an intermediate phase, which is formation of cartilage and that cartilage serves as a template for subsequent formation of bone. And so if you don't have adequate cartilage formation, you're probably not gonna get adequate formation of bone and you're probably not gonna have a well-healed fracture. There's no cheap, safe, easy way to see cartilage uh, or to image cartilage in a living patient. So we were collaborating with someone in chemistry and biomedical engineering who has developed a contrast agent for CAT scanning that is fairly specific to cartilage. So we can deliver this contrast agent and use it to image cartilage with our pretty normal CAT scanning methods. And that's enabled us to track the progression of bone healing much earlier on than we would have been otherwise. And if we're able to translate that to, to people, then that could be a big benefit because now the doctor could know much earlier on if the healing process has gone awry and, and have some alternate treatments that they could try. Thank you.